Hi friends! Today we will be creating life. That intro was a little extra. Today we will be participating in a collab that was created by Danny Ranger Writing and we are all creating fantasy creatures. It's a design challenge so not only am I going to be picking out characteristics for this creature I will also be drawing this creature which that's gonna be fun and also will be writing a short story about this creature. There is a full list of everyone that is participating in the collab in the description box below. There's still people being added so I don't want to say specific names and be wrong so everybody will be linked in the description box below with their video so you can check all of those out as well and see what everybody is able to come up with and hopefully everyone has better art skills than I. It's gonna be real rough guys so let's get started. I have liberated my trusty witch's cauldron. I think the original goal was to just like pick things that went together but I thought it would be way more catastrophic and fun to put things in here and pick them out for different characteristics of my creature because I hate myself. So the first category is alignment and it's good, neutral, evil, or unknown. So I'm going to Let's see what we get. Our creature shall be neutral. Next is the aura and it can either be light, neutral, or dark for the aura. Neutral again. Okay. Like they're in there. Just pulling out neutral for fun. And the next two there weren't choices for, so it was like me creating my own choices, but I'm not completely sure what the categories were actually supposed to mean because there's a power and a power type. So I'm assuming one is like what kind of power does it have and the other one's like what is the strength of their power? Not sure if that's actually what's going on here, but that's what we're rolling with. So my first is strength of power and I have low, mid, high, and epic. And we get, but naturally we get epic. Powers of epic proportions. I also added in for fun like a category of where this creature lives so like is it underwater, on the land, in the sky, and I also have a pick a combo. So like if I draw pick a combo then I'll draw two more to get a combo. Like I realize if it flies that it also has to land at some point but like it doesn't live in the ground like it would nest or something. Let's see what we get here. There's some really great, great things here. Oh shoot. And we got land, so it is a land creature. All right, for the next category, we're doing like what type of powers it has. I may pick more than one of these, haven't decided. There are makes fire, controls water, moves things with its mind, AKA telekinesis, but I couldn't spell telekinesis at seven in the morning. Uh, grows plants, meaning it can grow plants. Controls other life forms, makes great pie has healing saliva. Its tears melt metal. And my personal favorite, laser beams. Meaning it, I actually wrote a description, uh, meaning it can pull energy from around itself and shoot balls of energy. AKA, laser beams. Um, all right. Our creature shall control water, land creature that controls water. Let's pick another one, just for fun. Let's give it, give it two different, two different things. This one. Can control other life forms. Ooh, I, I know this thing's neutral, but I don't want to meet it in a dark alley, I can tell you that. Next category is its form. There is organic, spiritual, mechanical, or camouflage. Our creature is spiritual. It's a spirit and it lives on land. I don't understand. So that rhymed. And next is where does this creature live? Like what world is it from? Our choices are earth, fantastical, 
dystopian or sci-fi. If we get Earth and I have to create a spirit Earth animal that can control people and water and it, this is going to be real weird. Our creature is from a dystopian. This could be fun. Just to recap, our creature's alignment is neutral. Its demeanor is also neutral. Its powers are at epic proportion levels. It lives on land. It can control water. It can control other life forms. It is spiritual in form. And it is a dystopian world with which this creature lives in. I recently got a new setup with which to film overhead, so I'm getting to use that today, which is awesome. This will be the first time I'm using that. And you will get to see me draw a creature that I have no idea what I'm going to draw. It's a spirit, so it should be super fun. All right, forgive me if this is the worst setup you've ever seen in your entire life because I, again, am just starting this for like the very first time. So uh, I've never done this overhead shot before. So all new things for me. I got this piece of dot grid paper because I want to actually just like stick this in my planner just as like a reminder of something fun that I've done. Let's uh, get out our list of things. Dystopian, spiritual, can control other life forms, controls water, lives on land, epic power, neutral, neutral. All right, let's do this. Uh, I know I'm supposed to be drawing the creature, but it's a spirit, which means maybe you necessarily can't see it. So I'm gonna cheat probably a lot here and uh, y'all are just gonna live with it because that's how we roll here. Yes, I draw like in grade school where you make a V and that's the fork of your tree. It's a gorgeous tree. Don't don't you be talking about my tree. You know it's a beautiful tree. That's right, grade school style circles. You know you love it. Also, these are fall trees, hence the, the colors, yeah. Mm -hmm. These are my shrubbery.
sadly I think this is about as good as it gets. So you get like some trees action, some some sky action, some grass, some shrubbery, some creepy little creature over here, spiritual in the bushes, hiding in the bushes. Kind of looks like Cousin It. That's, that's about as good as we get there. They didn't teach me how to draw spirits in grade school, so as you can tell, I used my grade school skills, and uh, they didn't they didn't teach me that. So that's, uh, that's what we got. Hopefully, the story is better, seeing as how I'm going into a profession of being a writer, not an artist. Thank God. Let's see what kind of story we can get. And now we are to the writing portion of this video. I'm going to be typing this into Google Docs and I will be linking it in the description box below so that you can check it out from there if you would like to do so. I probably will not read it on screen just because it may be the most atrocious thing that you have ever seen. So make sure you check out in the description box below to read my story and for everyone's links as well. <laughs> I think that's it. I think I'm finished writing my short story so let's wrap this up. And there my friends we have a brand new creature, a epic drawing, and a wonderful story of this creature and its life. Thank you again to Danny for inviting me into this collab because it was a lot of fun. I really enjoyed it. I get to create creatures which is always a fun thing to do. Don't forget to check out all of the other participants of the collab in the description box below. Some of them you may know and some of them you may not. Some of them were new to me. That should be super fun to get to learn about new people. I'm very excited to see everyone's videos once they are posted. That is all I have for today. I post reading, writing, book, and planner related videos on Mondays, Wednesdays, and bonus videos on the weekends. So until then, I'll see you guys next time. Bye!